Hi, my name is Blake Lindsay. I'm with Inside Out Performance Fabrics. Um, first and foremost, just want to say thanks for having us here today, but I'm going to quickly give you a brief demonstration uh, before we get going and then talk to you a little bit about the, uh, the attributes of, of what Inside Out is and, and, um, and how this all came about. Um, Inside Out was a product line that we introduced to the marketplace in order to uh, bring a, a interior aesthetic to the marketplace with outdoor capability. Um, what we've been able to do is give color, hand, look, and design and style uh, for, for a consumer that wants a high level of performance uh, that can either be used on the interior of the home or the exterior of the home. So um, what I'd like to do is just briefly show you what the attributes are. One of the things that, that folks come to us about is what is a performance fabric and, and really what is that that makes it that. And one of the main things that we've done through our market research is, is trying to define what performance is because each consumer, each person has their own definition of what a performance fabric is. Um, but the main thing that we find is that folks really want to know what, what uh, is cleanable uh, and how it's cleanable. And so what we really wanted to do is focus on the cleanability aspect and then give it all the other attributes that come with uh, being an outdoor performance fabric. Um, first and foremost, durability. Uh, we wanted to meet or exceed the expectations of the consumer. So we had everything in this product past 50,000 double rows, which you can see on our little info cards that we hand out. Um, we also wanted to, to uh, have each of our products be pill resistant. Um, pilling has been a problem in our industry and folks are, are really coming into the retail stores wanting to know what fabrics are going to have an issue because they may have had a past bad experience. So we wanted to test and over test our products to make sure that they became uh, pill resistant and did not have any pilling issues. Uh, from a cleanable standpoint, uh, performance fabrics uh, really is just wanting to have a high level of cleanability. You know, one of the great things is it's not an indestructible fabric. It's not something that you can just, you know, do whatever you want to with it. What we've done with performance fabrics is allow you to have something in your home that if you spill Revlon, if you spilled Coke, if you spilled, you know, your food that you're eating, that you can easily clean that without having to flip that cushion forever or, out, or having to, you know, throw it away or, or go get it recovered or have to buy a new sofa. Right now, you can clean that spot, clean that sofa, and, and, and be able to move on with your lives and your daily lives. Uh, you're able to use colors that you thought you could never use. White is very prevalent in the marketplace these days. So this allows you to have that white sofa because you can now easily clean it without having it show and show dirt uh, as much. So that's that's one of the main things there. Um, our yarn, the, the performance capabilities come from the yarn and how it's manufactured. So uh, what by those, without getting too um, in depth, the, the product gives you uh, the ability to bleach clean, and that comes with its high UV properties because it, it, it can go outside, it has the uh, high UV additives that we put into the dye stuff that allows it to, uh, to really give you a high level of performance. You can use diluted bleach for those, you know, tougher to get stains out and, and things like that. Um, we also uh, are, are very uh, environmentally conscious. Uh, we don't want any off-gassing or any kind of issues with that or, or putting too much chemical or too many things on our products. We see that cut consumers are, are very uh, well aware of that and right now very conscious of that. So this product uh, is PFC free, so there are no fluorocarbons uh, at all. It has a C0 liquid repellent that we apply to this uh, so that it can have uh, the, the aha moments that you're getting ready to see when we show you how we're gonna spill some Coke or some water or, and do some things like that and, and, and easily clean those. Um, it's all made in America, made right here in Valdez, North Carolina, about an hour and a half from here. Um, and, uh, and we consider it uh, one of the best, most premier uh, performance fabrics in the marketplace, and we hope that you'll agree with us. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna give you a brief demonstration. I'm gonna pour a little Coke on here, you know, and some people say, well, just, just go ahead and pour it. So I'll just go ahead and give it a big pour so you guys can see that. And you can see that it can beat up and you can take a white cloth or a, you know, it can be any cloth, it doesn't have to be white, but you can take a cloth or a napkin. But what you want to do, you don't want to press it into the, to the fabric because that's just going to work its way down through the, through the weave of the fabric. But right here, you just want to come from the side and let that paper towel do its job and soak it up. And see, so you have just a little residual left and you just kind of gently do that. And then you can dab the remaining beads up. And believe it or not, I know you can't feel it, but that's dry as a bone. And so that's just with a little bit of Coke. And I don't know if you know about Coke, but Coke's just as bad as wine uh, when it comes to stains. So, um, so that just gives you a high level there. I'm gonna briefly show you, um, you know, don't normally like to draw or create stains, but we're just gonna show you real quickly that you can see I've drawn a little smiley face there with a highlighter. 
You can take a little bit of enzyme-based soap and water. It can be tied in water, mix it typically three to one. Um, you don't want to oversaturate your product, but you do want to get a little bit on there so that you can get it mixed in and have it be able to lift, work a little lather. You can already see it start to lift the stain. Then you just want to blot. You want to dab it out, and you can see that that's already coming off on the, fat, on the uh, cloth or the paper towel. And as you do, you just continue to dab. You want to work the soap and the water out of the fabric as it dries. You really don't want to scrub because you can hurt the fabric by, by doing, you know, being too abrasive with your cleaning. So you don't want to do that. You always want to dab and be as gentle as you can. And if for some reason your stain doesn't come out the first time, you want to rinse and repeat. So you just want to rinse that soap and water or whatever you've used out of that. Um, if you've used a diluted bleach, you just want to do that and see, you can see it's coming out and always make sure that you rinse after you're done so that you get all the soap residue out of the fabric. If you don't, soap will attract dirt and dust again and your stain will look like it never, it reappeared. So, okay. One of the new things that we're having a lot of questions regarding um, and we've done some testing on is, um, you know, obviously with the, the pandemic and what we're having to deal with, folks want to know if they can spray disinfectant on their sofas. Well, you can already do diluted bleach, um, which is somewhat known as a disinfectant, but we've done some extensive testing and, and products or household products that you're finding in your home, such as Lysol and things like that, can be sprayed on our product uh, without the worry that you're gonna hurt the fabric, you're gonna degrade the yarn or degrade any of the performance attributes or the color or any of that mess. So you can do that. and. Uh, and, and don't have to worry uh, about your fabric or, or any of the attributes that it's known for um, going away. So um, if you have any questions, just feel free to let us know and find us at www.insideoutperformancefabrics.com for any other further information. And follow us on our Instagram and Facebook page.